So soul food, what comes to mind for you just with the one which is the one word soul food? What is soul food? How do I feed my soul? What do I consider to be soul food? Mm -hmm. Start looking into the spiritual and soul feeding principles of what fasting can be. I'll want to share my notes on that. But coming back to the soul, the soul food principle, the biggest thing that I wanted to share with our group to explore this week is what are you feeding yourself in terms of thoughts? Or are we just consuming? Hoping that the consumption will bring us that thing that we want, or that person that we want, or that affection that we so desire. So you tell me. You tell me. You tell me what comes up for you. I mean, like, who who is it that you're reading? Who is it that you're following? And now our, like, mass banquet of social media niblets, I have to be pretty conscious about what I consume. Sun. I was outside and now I'm inside and so I can't, I feel like I don't have like the whole aura of the magicalness of that, but like literally the air and the sun and just being outside can nourish us. Um, vitamin D, hello, um, that comes directly from the sunshine um, and it helps you be happy. Reading, reading materials. What do you read? What do you fill yourself with? like um, in terms of in intellect what you know if it's poetry that you're putting in when you get to a point where you're feeling like you've got nothing and you drop down into that space where you're receptive I'll say when a little tidbit from something that I loved or something that vexed me um, will come to mind and I'll be like you know what it's really good thought, Newton, or hey, thanks, Aristotle.